Hello friends, uh, welcome to <coughs> the video lecture acting in Satyajit Ray cinema. This is part of uh, a series of lectures and articles which will be Ray at 100 and as part of Silhouette we are trying to bring forth a bouquet of uh, offerings uh, in terms of articles, video lectures, so on and so forth and it will be throughout this year starting from uh, 2nd May 2020 his birthday till 2nd May 2021 when it will be his 100th birthday. So as part of this uh, uh, video lecture today I will be speaking about certain aspects of Ray's uh, uh, some aspects of acting in Ray's films and <coughs> to start off what we need to look at is how Ray's film brought about a particular type of realism in Indian cinema in Bengali cinema and if you are uh, if you are familiar with Bengali cinema or Indian cinema before uh, Ray's films you will find that mostly they were borrowed from theatre and literature so his films were more or less uh, the first of its kind in the context of Indian cinema and uh, <coughs> he uh, developed a, a, a language a cinematic language which was so uh, which was so unique in the context of uh, Indian cinema and though it took certain things from literature it took certain things from theatre the acting say for example was not theatric the word uh, theatric what we understand it was it was more cinematic and so the question here is how Ray uh, achieved this realism and there were certain aspects in of his craft and if we look uh, into them then we'll find that those are the main main uh, main characteristics or main features which are present in most of his films one of them is natural dialogues he used to write dialogues which were which were coming from our day to day life coming out from our day to day life and he also used a lot of natural settings outdoors and <coughs> even the indoor ones the uh, the insides of the middle class uh, uh, used to look the same as uh, the insides of our own homes and and also along with these he had so many trivial cameo characters who are not very important in the context of the film's narrative but they definitely add uh, to it they 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 make the film uh, uh, more more memorable then those those moments make uh, make or, or increase the essence or, 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 or the flavor of the film. So we will quickly watch uh, a couple of uh, clips and the first one is from Joy Baba Filunath which is uh, the elephant god and you will find that there is one character who, who comes once or twice in the film and has no role to play in the entire detective story but he gives, uh, he, he represents a type of Bengali cynicism. So these are the realistic features which I am trying to look at. So let, let, let us quickly look at the first. Uh, so, so this character who is speaking to the hotel manager is actually someone who is uh, who, who, who appears only once or twice. But as I said, he 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 represents a type of uh, characteristics of the Bengali psyche. And these are the finer points which most of the other directors may not have these characters, may not have these moments in their films. But that is where Ray's uh, uniqueness lies. The other one is from Opu Shangsha, The World of Opu. And uh, we will quickly look into this as well. And you will find that the, the, these, these details which make Ray so unique. This woman just puts something on uh, the, the sari on top of her head. Which is which? Which is so very, uh, uh, very realistic. Now, if we if we look at uh, more deeply, then you will find that in most of Ray's films, 
it is not the acting but rather if you can say that it is a sort of non-acting which makes the characters so vibrant so realistic to us and that is one of the reasons and that is probably one one common denominator in all or most of his uh, characters actings and that is the reason why there is less variation uh, in in the final acting output between the different characters it can be a rank newcomer it can be someone who is a seasoned professional but you will not find much difference in their acting when they are acting in race films and when when it comes to the child actors they are more free in race films and you will find that most of the child actors don't have long dialogues something which you will otherwise find in most of the commercial indian cinema that the child actors have so many so many dialogues so many moralistic dialogues to to mouth but uh, ray ray had the child actors mouth very less dialogues and they they actually behave and that is the reason why there are so many so many newcomers who came in race film for the first time and became one of the greatest in the contest of indian cinema likes of shomitu chatterji or aparna sen shomila tagore tridiman chatterji and there are many others now this non acting actually helps the actors uh, in different ways but as i said that the job of an actor in race film is not just saying the dialogues there are other things which the actors do they have a lot of gestures with their hands and otherwise and that keeps them busy that keeps them less nervous probably and that is the reason newcomers also act so well child actors also act so well in race films <clears throat> it eases the actor and that is the reason because ray has to hold the characters from a distance because he has to show the gestures you will find that in most of the cases in ray's films uh you will you will have mid shots and in the opus opu clip which we saw you will find that the the person who is giving that uh, that envelope to opu uh, the moment he handed over he just lit an indian cigarette right so he is not bothered about what to do with his hands once his job of giving the uh, letter uh, is over and he is waiting for opu to react and also if you see that opu is also shown from a distance and most of rays uh, uh frames are 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 mid shots because i guess he wanted to show um, uh, different actions which are happening within the frame and that is one of the reasons why there are less close ups there are seldom there are close ups but we will watch one uh, one sequence where there is a close up but still you will find that the actors are doing certain things apart from uh, giving expressions or mouthing dialogues i will start I will with start with uh, nayok the hero and i will find again that this is played by the the hero is played by uttam kumar whose legs you can see and uh, in spite of being such a big commercial star uh, <coughs> who uh, fascinates uh, the audience by his presence ray makes him do a lot of things side by side uh, uh, with apart from his dialogue delivery so he's delivering his dialogues which i have muted because we can see the subtitles anyway and you'll find that apart from the dialogues he is doing a lot of business and that is primarily the reason that even uttam kumar who is such a fine actor and someone who is uh, who is probably acting for the first time in this film you cannot make out much difference between their acting and there is a commonality in the way they are acting and that commonality is one which ray brings in by having gestural acting as part of his acting technique now we will watch the second one which is from mohanagar or the big city and there are close ups but you will find that in spite of that um, there are gestures which the actors are doing both the actress actress madhavi mukherjee and the actor anil chatterjee they were along with the with the dialogues they are acting they are actually doing certain things in the frame are gaadi te hmm gaadi te chinta mat kar to achcha na chinte kya kare bolo to kina एक तो जाना अच्छे ना अच्छे ना 
একটু যেন As, as we saw that there were certain things which the director has given for the actors to play with and so that they are not uh, so much concerned with giving expressions or mouthing their dialogues. Now, if we look at why uh, or what are the factors which affect or help this non-acting style, I guess uh, one of the most important things to understand is that in race films, there are few moments of heightened expressions. So there are mostly placid narrative progress, progression. You will not find uh, uh, very heightened uh, moments like, for example, in Bagman's films, where the camera moves closely to the character's face and holds the face or, 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 or certain, certain moments. So that is one of the reasons why I think it is in, important or, or, or it makes the li life of the actor a bit easier and also the realistic makeup even Uttam Kumar who normally has a lot of make normally has a lot of makeups in most of the commercial films uh, had had very less makeup in uh, in Nayok and also the set design which also is very realistic so the people who are enacting them they are not finding it uh, extraordinarily difficult to bring out the emotions but if we think of uh, such, a, such a great level of acting standard, such, such a consistent level of acting standard, but, but whether that was rewarded or not. Now, in the context of the Indian uh, National Film Awards, which was uh, instituted uh, in the 1950s, but the best actor and actress started in 1968, and Uttam Kumar was the first, uh, uh, first best actor, be, first actor to get the best actor award in 1968 for Chiriya Khana, which, which is a Ray film and, and another film. And then a Best Supporting Actor award went to Victor Banerjee for Ghore Bairi in 1984. And then after Ray passed away, Mamata Shankar got uh, a special jury award for Aguntuk. Now, the question normally comes that if the acting standard is so high and so consistently good, then why it is only these three because Ray had been a very constant uh, name which was there in the National Film Awards. He got almost all the awards uh, which, which were there and he was, he is still till date uh, the most awarded director in the National Film Awards. But why is it that his actors whom we have been telling for so long has uh, been doing a marvelous job uh, have not been awarded? So, if we, if we think of uh, the fact that even if with such a high standards of acting, standard of acting, uh, why is it that Ray's actors have not been rewarded in the National Film Awards? I guess that is uh, mostly because uh, if we look at uh, the, the, the general pattern of Ray's acting, it is more like an orchestra and you will not find one individual sticking out and it is, it is the general standard and that is the reason why the overall feeling uh, as audience is is so great, and no one single actor is uh, is uh, uh, is uh, separated out as doing a great acting, and most of the others are not doing a good job. And I think this collective symphony makes a better overall cinematic experience for the audience. And in the context of the Indian culture and the inner psyche, I guess like in Indian classical music, which is uh, which is mostly individualistic, I think this idea of an orchestration is probably uh, not something which is uh, which is being uh, appreciated and that can be one of the reasons why there is even even if i if i take it that before 1968 there were uh, so many great films of ray and so many great acting moments like charlotta opushankar uh, jalshaghar uh, devi and Porosh Pathor, but even, even then, uh, after 1968 as well, there were a lot of films, a lot of acting moments which were great, but I think that, that because no one actor is, uh, is, is, can be singled out, it probably is one of the reasons why his actors were never uh, got the, who, his actors never got the due 
in the context of uh, the National Film Awards. Uh, if we if we see what Ray had to say about his uh, about the acting or about his perception of acting, then he probably never uh, never thought that the actor is someone who is uh, who is uh, any different from the furniture. Uh, I think it is a bit harsh, and I don't think this is something which Ray actually believed. But this is something which he had actually said in 1978 in an interview. And if we look at uh, Shomitra Chatterjee, what he has to say about Ray, and he is uh, he acted in 14 of Ray's uh, feature films, and he is uh, he is probably uh, one of the most consistently featuring actor of Ray. And he uh, he said that what we have been saying that Ray had brought a stylistic unity to to the cinematic expression of the actors, and he probably had. Uh, a way of acting in his in his films which had been followed by later filmmakers so this brings us to the close of uh, uh, this discussion about the acting in race films i think you have uh, liked it you have uh, uh, enjoyed it the way i have enjoyed uh, preparing for it and for more on satyajit ray please log into silhouette and look into the articles which we have and also keep an eye on the silhouette website because we will be having new and exciting features on Ray and uh, till then uh, wait for the next uh, version. Thank you.